Hi guys, just been editing the video that I did today using the Poundland wireless charging pad. Um, I used my old wireless pancake coil. So that switched on, put that on top and we're wirelessly passing power into these LEDs. And they're in focus. Um, so, so I was just editing that video and an idea came to me. I've been taking apart some LED lights. Uh, well, those are clearly LED lights. I think this one was actually a CFL, old compact fluorescent light. And in that one, there was that choke, which is what I was actually looking for for a different project, one that Lid Motor has been working on using these for pulse motors. Anyway, that one's a 3 milli Henry choke, which is basically a piece of wire wrapped around a ferrite core. And I thought, well, that will probably pick up power if it's in focus. Come on, that's better. That'll probably pick up power from there. So, if I solder a couple of LEDs on there, we should get those LEDs lighting up. So that's what we're going to do. Soldering iron is switched on. I'll put you on the tripod so we're not waving around like we are at the moment. And we'll give it a try. Right, so... Bit of blue tack to hold it still. Uh, right, I'm going to wire them up so one's one way round and the other's the other way round. So it shouldn't matter which way round the coil is picking up the power one of them was going to light up so we want that was the long leg so we want short leg to long leg okay you holding together yeah Right, so there we are. Choke, two LEDs. One red one, one green one, that's it happens. So back round to here, let's get the focus down here somewhere. Looks a bit better, doesn't it? So switch that on again. So that's working with them. There we go. Now, you can tune this, apparently, by using the right size coil and a bit of capacitance on there as well or something. I don't know if that would make it continuous glow or whether it will still do that flash like it's flashing now. But, uh, yeah, there we go, instant satisfaction. Let's move the camera down a bit. Just had another little idea. I've just pushed three more green and three more red on there. They're not soldered in place, but they are making contact. So if I now switch that on, 
we've got eight LEDs being driven by that choke or wirelessly driven by the phone charger. And I have a little project that that will fit on perfectly. And that's not the reason I originally pulled that choke out of that light bulb. Might get to that project eventually, but this is a sidetrack. I like that. Thanks for watching. If you want more information check down below in the video description if you like this video you might like this one up here and if you want to subscribe then check out my channel over here up here is my latest video on my channel and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched thanks again for watching